Let's take a quick look at the water cycle. We'll begin with stage one, evaporation. Evaporation is a phase change of water, and what that means is it is a process by which water absorbs heat and energy from the sun and turns from the liquid phase into a gas. This is happening constantly in the oceans around the world, as well as all of the lakes and other sources of fresh water on the land. This is adding millions and millions and millions of gallons of water vapor to the atmosphere at any given time. In addition to evaporation from bodies of water on Earth, we also see water being released by plant life through the process of transpiration. Altogether, this adds huge quantities of water vapor to the air. Now, what happens to that water vapor when it enters the air? Well, at that point, it cools down. And when it cools all the way down to a temperature known as the dew point, condensation occurs. Condensation is also a phase change, which turns all of that water vapor back into tiny droplets of liquid water, clouds. And eventually, as we know, those clouds will grow heavy and dense enough with liquid water that precipitation will occur in the form of rain or snow, depending on the temperature of the air. This process returns all of that water from our atmosphere back to the surface of the Earth. And once it hits the surface of the Earth, it will do one of two different things. It may infiltrate or seep into the ground and become part of our groundwater, or run off in the forms of streams and rivers, rejoining lakes and oceans around the planet. So that's a quick overview of the water cycle on Earth, a process that continues over and over, cycling H2O from the seas and lakes and plants to the atmosphere and then back again. To test yourself, download the diagram in the description below and see if you can fill it out from memory with all of the key terms we discussed in this video. Thanks for watching.